We see Zwe Platinum is a development company which is jointly controlled by the Bakubang tribe and the Chinese metals company Xinxuan. It is developing the Bakubang Platinum mine in the northwest province. It has a market cap of 976 million rand. It is currently not profitable and pays no dividends. I see a trend here, Mr. Turan. Yes, look, this is an interesting one because we see where, you know, sort of messed around for a couple of years. Mike Solomon was the CEO. They fought with themselves internally. The tribe wasn't happy with the way that the managers were running. Basically, what happened here is Jinshuan, which is one of those kind of globalizing Chinese mining operators with enormous backing from, you know, the China Asia Development Corporation basically came in and recapitalized this and put money in in exchange for shares which gives them now the controlling position and they've appointed a new board and a new CEO and so on and they don't care they're going ahead they've got more money than you can imagine they're going to develop a mine up there this one could be an exciting story I keep asking that question in the hope that you're going to change <laughs> your answer when you come to the fore no, again, I think with, with Seasway, it's, it's not about the earnings. But I mean, if you do, if you do want to drill into the, the numbers, I mean, uh, on their December uh, financials, you could see that they were holding about uh, it was about one and a half billion in, in cash on the balance sheet. I mean, you've, they've got about uh, one, uh, one, and it's also it's about one and a half uh, billion shares issued. So that that puts you just the just the cash component uh, in December of the share was around ninety cents. It's, it's currently trading at fifty six. So you know, there, there is value to be had, even though you're not seeing the earnings. The, another thing that you can look at it with Wessie's way is their production's only sort of forecast to come on stream seven years time. I mean, are we going to see a recovery in the platinum price within the next seven years? I'd say almost definitely. Uh, it's, it's something that, uh, you know, they're not going to be affected uh, as much by uh, sort of the, the lower platinum prices now because uh, they, they're not selling platinum at the moment. I've got another theory that Ooh, I can throw at you. Take it away. If it's an absolute <laughs> certain, as Gary yeah. says, that over a seven year period, we will see mm. platinum kicking up from a price perspective, then really shouldn't you just buy everything in the platinum sector, wait for the re-rating and you can retire? Yeah. Look, uh, maybe, I mean, the interesting thing about this one, Admit, it's not a I'll bad answer theory. this circuitously. The new CEO, Gianke Gao, said publicly in March when it was trading at 130 cents, that the minorities would not be diluted further and that they would not be called on to fund any more capital. So they're going to do it by way of development finance or off balance sheet finance or project finance or whatever. The mine is going to cost 8 billion rand. They've already appointed Avenge to start digging the shaft and so on and so forth. So I think you can say that's going to go ahead. The thing about the platinum price, I don't know. I mean, at some point you're right. If you in your hairdryer has to have an AutoCAD on it, then you'll know. You know, it's like everything, leaf blowers, the whole lot. So, you noticed um, I didn't do my hair today. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, the trouble is about buying stuff in anticipation of a change to the cycle. I it's don't know, a maybe given. They invent Gary just <laughs> said it's a given. He maybe they invent in nuclear years. fusion between now and 2023, and then they decide we've got cheap electricity do you and want then to we'll retract your statement? <laughs> do you want to retract your statement? Maybe a little bit excited on saying it's a, it's a given, but uh, still, I mean, look at, look at uh, we were talking about the supply and demand constraints. 40% of people, 40% uh, of, of mines producing platinum below cost. That's not sustainable. As long as, yes, all things, all things equal, as economists would say. Uh, should we not have uh, catalytic converters <laughs> disappearing off, off the face? Now we're going to start uh, treading that thin <laughs> line, the economists <laughs> trade. All right, all things being equal. <laughs> Pull to run, hot or not. No, I'm afraid not. Not with um, mines shutting down. Someone trying to build a new one doesn't make sense. Hot or not, Gary? Uh, I think I think hot. I think very hot. Uh, <laughs> Uh, you know, Jin is also going to bring a lot of new experience to, to the company, and I think, uh, you know, with them not being affected by the low platinum price at the moment, I think it's, it's a good bet.